This morning we have yarrow again and lots of nice grass. It's funny because they feel the need to eat the guinea pigs forage when they've got all of this. It's quite funny though that they're choosing to eat that. How cute is this? I've just spotted Bramley and multi cuddling under that shell. That is adorable. Yeah. And my mum just went into town, she got some of this Argos children's play sand. So I'm thinking of maybe putting this in here. What's this? I just found this old penny randomly. That's really weird. Maybe it's like some ancient coin oh my god i'm gonna go rinse it and see <laughs> i went to go and tell my mum about the coin and i was like oh i think i found something really ancient and then she was like oh yeah and then she was like it's plastic and i'm like oh okay now i feel stupid so it's a plastic coin guys what do you think of that but i think i know where it's from so if my sister's watching this now you probably know as well we used to have this pretend till when we were younger, so I think it's from that, but I feel so stupid for that. filled it all up with sand. Turns out it wasn't really as much as I thought it would be. I think I'll need another maybe one or two packets of it because it's only done a very thin covering as you can see. What do you think Piper? She's like hmm we need more in here. Not enough to dig. <laughs> you probably know that we have been growing a lot of herbs ourselves and today I am going to be letting them try a few of those. I'm only going to put them in the run for a few minutes because if you leave it any longer than that they'll all be gone and I just want them to have a little bit of a taste so I will go and put some of those in. I'm not sure what to give them. I think they like this. Mabel actually pulled the radish out itself so she can have that. She's like, ew, no, I don't want that. <laughs> I think you've had enough now. That's after like 10 seconds. Seeing as you haven't seen the hamsters or gerbils in a while, I thought I would show you them. Chestnut's so tame now, he is just so friendly and always comes running up onto my hand to get treats. Here's Pingu. <laughs> this is really weird, Pingu just lies in his tube and chews it for some reason. 
He's like, oh my goodness, go away. <laughs> I've got some treats here, so I'm just going to get one for him. There's a sunflower seed. There you go. <laughs> no, don't escape. <laughs> He um, nibbles, and it's not aggressive, it's just he likes to nibble. <laughs> so I have to wear gloves, but then he chews through the gloves, so it was a bit of a disaster, really. Um, I'm also thinking of... Oh, don't bite my finger, please. <laughs> Look at that big fluffy belly. So I do want a playpen for him. I do have one, actually, here, but he doesn't want to play in it, so I don't know. What do you guys think? a lot of rumble strutting going on there. This is the rabbit's run. It joins on to the fencing and it's just the top of an old guinea pig cage. So I mean it is tiny but we don't really need a big one for them, they only need like a tiny one that I can always move it up along the grass if they run out. I really want to work on taming the rabbits because I'm not sure, I think eventually I would like to go around schools and stuff and do talks with animals so rabbits is a good place to start really but it's not fair to put them in an environment which they're not comfortable in so they've really got to get used to people. I mean Pipe would be fine now but Big Big is going to take a lot of work so I mean we've got to start somewhere and <laughs> he's over there now so this isn't really working but I think that eventually I would like to do something like that. So I just really need to work on taming. I mean, Piper's very tame. She'll jump on my knee and she's just very friendly. Like she's just got no fear of people, which is really good. Big Using food is really good though for that positive association. She's just started lying down when I've been petting her and she's closing her eyes and everything. Oh, you're so lovely. So there's loads of plantain around here and it's like really tall stuff and I did collect some yesterday but it was a lot smaller so I'm going to be getting some of this. Just basically get a big handful of it. Here is a hazel tree and you can tell that it's a hazel tree by the nuts on it so they're kind of just white coloured like that and also you have to look at the shape of the leaves so they're sort of pointed but then kind of jaggedy around the edges. They've also got quite a furry texture. We found another hazel tree and you can actually see the nuts up close on the tree so just look out for those and also remember to take them off if you feed them to your guinea pigs or rabbits because they're not really meant to eat the, the nuts. The nuts yeah. And then go back and get the nuts from the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. There's also a load of pine cones here. They're beautiful. Right? And if I didn't have a load at home, I'd probably come and collect some. But Squiggles will be after. <laughs> we've got a load at home. We've also just found this apple tree 
and obviously you can tell what it is by looking at the actual apples themselves so that's the best way to identify it the leaves are obviously are quite different to hazel they are more shiny and smooth and they are quite a similar shape but they are very smooth and like I say the best way to recognize it is by looking at all these apples because you can see they're pretty much everywhere so that's the best way okay it's gotten really late now and it's so dark so I was going to clean them out tonight but it's honestly so late it's like nearly 10 p.m. so I will just have to go and feed them then I will clean them out first thing You can just about see Piper and that's it, you can't see Bigwig. So yeah, thank you for watching this vlog, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!